This video is sponsored by Paperlike. Oh, by the way, if you see these type of comments, they are not me. Beware of scammers. Available in four different colors. Yo, John, can you can you give me the iPad? Yeah, got you. iPad. Thank you. Uh, the new one, right? Yeah, the one that just came out. The one that just came out. This one, right? Yo, that's the air, man. I said the new one. New one, new one. New one. New one, new one, new one. New one. No, John, that's the mini. No, that's the mini. The one with the new camera, man. Okay, camera, you said? Camera, camera, camera. Oh, oh boy. New camera, shoot. Uh, Okay. Yo, bro, the one with the Touch they ID. They all have Touch IDs. USB-C? They're all USB-C. Bro, the slim bezels. Yeah. So what's the difference? Yo, honestly, bro, I don't know. If... You know what? I'm gonna go rewrite the script. So, usually, before I even get a product, I like to write a very positive script about it. And then, once I get the product, I peel sentence by sentence. It just allows me to write a more concise review. Except, this time, I feel like my expectations were way too high. This is finally it, the iPad I wished I had when I was in school. And I can't believe it, Apple finally pulled the trigger and made it look exactly like the iPad Pro and the iPad Air. So no more home screen button, touch ID, a bigger display, and most importantly, a USB-C port. Oh, and yeah, a bunch of new interesting colors. Basically a whole new design that I've been personally waiting for for like the past three years, and I'm finally happy to say we've got it in our studio. So guys, honestly, welcome to the best tablet for students. Yeah, that was the intro before I changed it all, apart from the comedic relief. Now, this is a bit of a hefty price increase, sadly. Apple have gone from their original $329 9th gen price tag to $449 for this 10th gen. It's a bit of a bummer, but my job is to check out with you guys why. I just hope that none of those extra dollars have anything to do with their packaging. I will say, Apple, you guys are clever for putting all the new colors available within this front cover. I think officially, all of their Apple lineup products finally don't have paper wraps. Instead, we get these massive plastic lids to be able to pull the front cover off. Inside the box, we get the iPod itself in this new recycling paper. I of course went silver because like I mentioned a couple of videos ago, to me, it's the most aesthetically pleasing color Apple makes. Behind it all, we get a 20 watt USB-C power adapter and a USB-C charging cable. I'm not gonna lie, this is actually really awesome to see. Also, for some odd reason, we physically get longer Apple support guides. Inside, you'll find the regular papers we usually get with some Apple stickers. They just seem to be longer. Basically, overall, it's very much the same packaging experience as always. Now, here's where the tables turn for me. Right out of the box, honestly, this looks and feels identical to the iPad Air. In fact, it's so identical that at first glance, they are hard to tell apart. Of course, Apple will always stay truthful to their lineup and will always ensure that the iPad Air is thinner slimmer and lighter but at the end of the day putting both side by side they just they feel identical however on the new model we get thicker bezels all around this time delivering an awaited 10.9 inch display with surprisingly a horizontal camera plus in my opinion that's not the best part about it we actually finally get center stage i'm actually so excited to see how this will turn out for most of you guys. I mean, it's a feature that works so well, and if you are doing any sort of group projects or going around your room looking for a book, it'll always stay in focus. On paper, it can be the perfect tablet for students, all the quirks you need for homework, assignments, and to study, it's here all in one. But now I'm sitting here wondering, 
Was this really the right move? The camera and the connector don't allow Apple to install the magnetic hardware for Apple Pencil 2 support. So instead, we got this weird adapter and Apple Pencil 1 support, which wasn't even in stock when I went to the store. So FYI, don't try using the old Gen 1 adapter with USB-C to Lightning cable to connect it. I guess this is sort of basically inviting people with previous iPad based models to upgrade, to spend less money, but more money because it's more expensive but at the end of the day no need to rebuy the pencil just the nine dollar adapter i feel like it allows them to not kill sales for the ipad air and the ipad mini to play devil's advocate maybe that connector would have added an extra say 20 to 25 dollars to the price tag it's like slowly getting closer to the ipad air if you know what i mean i guess i just find the whole thing a bit ridiculous especially when the adapter doesn't even come out of the box let me know down below what you guys think about that move and i don't know if that price increase justifies this as well but instead of an 8 megapixel camera we get a 12 megapixel camera it makes it even better because you get to perfectly zoom into the board take pictures of assignments your books cars if you want to and so on the screen apart from being a 10.9 inch liquid retina display with 2360 by 1640 pixels with true tone which is great for your eyes it also delivers 500 nits of brightness it's very similar to the m2 macbook air so if you like taking notes outside it's good enough it's almost like apple took the exact same display the ipad air has and slapped it on this new 10th gen except for the laminated hardware and the color space which is a bit less accurate with srgb i honestly don't think these are things that you guys should even care about a laminated screen just eliminates that gap between the glass and panel and after owning both ipads with time i've realized it really doesn't matter for note taking it's a cooler experience don't get me wrong but save your money you can instead use that money to pair it with something like paper like it's going to deliver that super nice note taking experience regardless paper like by the way is an ipad screen protector designed to provide that paper like experience on an ipad i really wanted them to sponsor this video because they just came out with paper like 2.1 manufacturer in switzerland a paper that continues to offer the paperly feel and stroke resistant that users are already familiar with however this time around we get better overall visibility and clarity during use, new composite materials and better nanodots distribution, all with an expert back development process. You know what makes your pencil vibrate and give you that feel of paper? The nanodots. Except this time, the nanodots layer is spread more evenly across the surface of the screen protector in order to further minimize refraction. With their new Swiss-based manufacturing partner, they were able to use a new material composite that allows for the most accurate distribution of nanodots technology to date. It really gives any of your iPads that nice feel for paper, and I'm happy to know that we get a notable step up in picture clarity. With this combo, your images will stay sharp and crisp with a minimal shift in color values as they pass through the paper and into your eyes. I highly suggest you check them out down below. Now, with or without paper like the iPad screen looks fantastic, even with sRGB. And when I first watched Netflix on this, I was extremely satisfied for the price. I will say though, for the new CPU that delivers a 20% boost over the A13 Bionic with a new neural engine showing a 80% boost in performance, Apple, why not just deliver Thunderbolt 4 to this iPad? I mean, I'm happy it has USB-C, don't get me wrong. Plugging this to a 4K panel up to 30 Hz is finally pretty sick. It's a feature that people studying business, engineering, nursing, computer science, education will benefit from. But cutting that at transfer speeds can suck for some people. I know most students won't benefit from those speeds, but I think it would have been nice for others. You guys also finally listened to many of us and brought proper stereo speakers. You'll find those on both sides of the tablet. Just qualified to play for Jamaica. Just throwing players together doesn't really work. You have to feel for Andre Blake, captain of the side. As cool as this is, I know you guys most likely don't use speakers that much. Headphones, earbuds, AirPods are always students go to. So that's overall for the new hardware. Now, let me show you what I spent $250 on. I did go out of my way, okay, to buy this as well as show you guys how you can style this. Not budget friendly though. I got their new Magic Keyboard, which I think will be a popular accessory 
for those who are on a budget like I was in uni, I do suggest you maybe check out their folios instead. But if you have the money to splurge, their new Magic Keyboard is convenient. It has a trackpad, it now comes in two pieces, easy to snap together, and it's super minimal. In fact, it's so cool that they finally thought about how annoying it is to fold the keyboard backwards and have the keys right at the tip of your fingers. It's almost like they've been learning from what Moft has been doing. I mean, look at this. I can snap it out and treat it like a kickstand. It really is an all-in-one. However, from experience, I've gotten more of my money's worth with third-party accessories. I've gotten all sorts of cases with my favorite ones being from Moft. They've got all these wild origami-inspired clever tech accessories created to empower your efficiency. Sounds fancy, but they have been pairing amazing with paper screen protectors on our end. I actually just got their folio and it goes super well together with their case. This makes a nice setup because you can quickly elevate the iPad screen to eye level. It's perfect for like video calls or as a second screen with your MacBook wherever you go. This case is just really cool because it can deliver a couple of different heights depending on what you want. You can also have it to support a 20 degree angle to take some notes in the classroom. That's why I wanted to show you guys this one instead of the Apple Folio. Honestly, both together really deliver a full 360 protection for the iPad and the Apple Pencil. My take, give some of the other accessories brands a chance. It's my job to bring awareness to any brand that's worth buying and saves you money. I just happen to really, really like what Muff does. The same goes with the Logitech pen, which I recommend. It'll allow you to save some money and it works like a charm. No need for pairing or extra dongles for it to work. Overall, whoever you end up going with, you've got really, really cool alternatives to cut down on budget and save some money. Lastly, student performance. When I was a student, there were a few things that I would often do with my iPad and that was multitasking, Office 365 apps, Google Drive, calls, consuming content, and of course, note taking. Luckily, the iPad is very much able to do it all and this year is no different. It really isn't a year where from these first impressions, I've noticed a dramatic increase in speeds. I can easily and effortlessly still multitask. I think there's nothing like a lifetime view so you guys can properly see how well this reacts. There's never any lags, like I can go ahead and slide over. Maybe even let's open Netflix. Let's play this. Let's just get rid of that. I have it played right here. I can maybe open Google Drive, split view with good notes, then go here, maybe open, let's open this in PowerPoint. There you go. You guys can see it's super snappy. Like you guys are never gonna worry, have to worry about things being slow or anything like that. It's very nice. Also, depending on what type of setup you get, writing essays in Word and playing with formulas in Excel will never show you any signs of things slowing down. iPadOS is very much capable of handling these things. It makes things like taking a picture of an essay, transforming it into PDF, sticking it into GoodNotes, edit it and export it into Google Drive, extremely easy tasks to accomplish. I will say, I do come from Notability. I did most of my school years on that app, but I do suggest you try out GoodNotes. Both are just as good, but I actually like the user experience of GoodNotes slightly better. I find it easier to organize your notes, browse for any note-taking ideas, voice record your teachers, which is an absolute god-tier feature, and a few other quirks worth checking out. This is just my two cents, by the way. You can use whatever you please. So performance-wise for school, this thing is as good as the iPad 9th gen. However, it's not as perfect like the iPad Air is for multitasking. You see, I find it odd how Apple didn't even support this new gen when it comes to Stage Manager. Like you guys saw, the iPad 10 only supports the traditional iPad OS multitasking features, including split view, picture in picture video playback, and slide over. It would have been nice being able to turn Stage Manager on like on the Air and benefit from things like the new UI, resizing apps like a computer, floating windows, the new app bar, and whatnot. I also think some of you could have benefited from those external monitor features the stage manager brings. I will say, overall, the iPad 10 is not the perfect iPad for students. Don't get me wrong, it's a perfect tablet, and I love the form factor with the whole screen and whatnot. But to be able to fully recommend this as a replacement to the 9th gen, there are still a few things this model absolutely needs. 
My fear is how would that reflect on the price tag? I do think that if I was on a budget, I would buy this over the air if I was back in uni just because of the screen. But the iPad Air is still like the BMW of iPads for students. And if you can save some more money, I'd get that one. Look, if you're still on the fence, go to an Apple store and check it out. We're going into a period where return policies get extended because of the holidays. Take advantage, give it a try and see if you genuinely like it. Apple still sells the 9th gen, so don't forget about that. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. This has been my iPad 10 Overlook for students. I'm out.